Welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day video. I am loving doing these vlog style ones, so I'm just gonna keep on rolling with this format. You guys seem to really like it too. So it is about 7.30 in the morning. I woke up around six. I've already had some water. I took Chubby for my walk, and I like did some little tidying around the house, and I'm actually sitting down and writing today's blog post, which I will put for you in the description box below if you're interested in checking it out. But I'm going to go make my matcha, and I thought I'd give you kind of like a rundown of how the morning is gonna go. So I am going to a 10:30 Soul Cycle class, and if you guys don't know what Soul Cycle is, it's basically like uh, it's spinning, but it's in a dark room. It's really amazing music, great playlists, amazing instructors. It's like you feel like you're riding with all of the people around you. I love it personally. So if you guys have one in your area and you haven't checked it out, you should. It's such a good workout. I sweat so much. I feel amazing when I leave. So much energy. And it's just like also really fun. So um, what can I do? I'll actually put a link for you guys in the description box below if you want to check it out and see if there's a studio near you because Highly, highly recommend that you check it out. It's awesome. So basically, because I have a Soul Cycle class at 10:30, I'm gonna try to eat breakfast before. So I'll probably have my matcha and then I'll make my smoothie bowl. And I'll probably have a little bit of a lighter smoothie bowl just because I don't want to be too full for the class. So that's basically how I'm gonna run down the morning. And let's go ahead and go make some matcha. So my matcha was my standard matcha latte, about a teaspoon of matcha powder, some monk fruit extract, pumpkin pie spice, my adaptogen powders, which were pine pollen and cordyceps, and then of course coconut butter to make it nice and creamy. Top that with hot water, blend it all up in my little blender, and then I just pour it into my glass, and that is how I make my matcha latte pretty much every day. My smoothie today was a base of spinach, so I did about three cups of spinach, and then I topped that with a scoop of vegan protein powder. And then I just did a little bit of cauliflower, frozen cauliflower, and then I also did a little bit of frozen blueberries, added in some coconut water, which is great for electrolytes and great for pre and post workout. And then I blend this up until it's smooth and creamy. And it was not the most pretty color, <laughs> but it tasted really good. And then I topped this with some peanut butter and some dried mulberries as well as some coconut. So in case you can't tell, I tried to be very real with you guys. That is normally how my smoothie bowls look. I am not one of those types of people that is styling every single meal that I make. I really only style them when I have to. A lot of times my food is not that pretty. And the reason I'm telling you that is because I don't want you to feel pressured to like make your food look gorgeous and amazing every single time. We're all busy. We don't have time to do that every single day. And sometimes your food's just not gonna look good and that's okay. So I chose to add all of these ingredients into my smoothie because I want to make sure that I'm getting protein, healthy fats, as well as some carbohydrates before I work out. All of those are going to help keep me sustained, keep me energized, and I think this is gonna be the perfect meal. Just got done with such a great Soul Cycle ride. Look who I'm so with. Hot. It's so <laughs> hot out. That's Remy from ah. Veggie You guys know her. Um, I'll put her channel info below. But. Look at the sky. It's just so beautiful out. It's like probably 85 degrees, but it feels awesome. I'm gonna head to the grocery store right now quickly and then go get my schmitty. Take her for a walk. Okay, well, we'll walk this way? Yeah. Okay. Just got back from my walk with Trevi and I'm thinking about lunch. I think I'm going to do some pesto zucchini noodles because it's so hot, like, I just don't wanna cook a big elaborate meal. So. I think I'm gonna do pesto zucchini noodles and maybe have like half a bagel on the side and then well, I'm not sure what else. I think I'm also gonna make my caffeine free latte which you guys need to try. It went up on the blog yesterday and it's so good. Um, so I'm gonna show you actually what I do with pesto. This is a new thing to me and I feel like it's a really smart idea so I thought I would show you. But I have these silicone, silicone molds Basically what I do is I make a big batch of pesto and then I freeze them in individual portions. So that way I don't have to like waste my pesto and basically one little ice cube is enough for one serving. So what I'm gonna do is just let this melt in a pan and then add some zucchini noodles and then I think I'm gonna toast my bagel and yeah. 
So again, to heat this pesto up, I just basically popped out one of those little cubes, added in a little bit of water, and then just cooked it until it started to melt. Then I spiralized one zucchini. I added that into the pan, and I just kind of tossed everything together until it was smooth and creamy. I had to add in a little bit of water just to help the pesto kind of get coated with the noodles, but otherwise it was super quick, maybe five minutes to make. Then I just transferred it into the bowl, topped it with a ton of nutritional yeast. I love nutritional yeast. It's really high in protein and it's also oftentimes fortified with vitamin B12, so it's awesome if you are not eating animal products. And then I also had the side of the bagel, which I mentioned, and what I did on the bottom was the mashed pinto beans that I had in the quesadillas from Tuesday's video. So I had leftovers of that. I just put on about a quarter cup of mashed pinto beans, topped that with some avocado, drizzled it with some hot sauce, and it was so yummy, like just super simple, really, really good. And then I also had some leftover pasta on the side from the other night. This is lentil pasta with some of that pesto, so I just kind of nibbled on this while I was cooking. Back again with my messy hair. I showered after Soul Cycle, I promise, but <laughs> I just didn't feel like washing my hair. So I'm actually gonna make my caffeine-free latte right now. I haven't made it yet. I felt like I just wanted to like sit with a savory lunch and then have something a little sweet. So I'm gonna describe what it is to you and talk about why it's so awesome. So as many of you know, I don't really drink coffee. I drink it sometimes when I travel. It's very like kind of special treat or very occasional for me. And um, my choice obviously is matcha. So I am obsessed with matcha. That's kind of what I drink to get my energy up. But recently, I, I think like two weeks ago, I had a matcha around 4 or 5 p.m. And I didn't really think that caffeine was something that ever affected me. And it made me like, not jittery, but I just couldn't sleep. Like I had a really hard time falling asleep. I was tossing and turning all night long. And I realized that caffeine in the afternoon is not a good thing for me. So what do I do to get my energy up if I'm feeling like I have a little bit of like a crash coming on or I just want something like sweet and yummy? Um, um, I came up with my caffeine free maca latte. So this recipe, like I said, is now up on the blog. It has maca powder and maca is naturally really energizing. It's really high in antioxidants. It's great for hormone health. Um, the one that I use is called gelatinized maca. I will link it for you below. And the reason that I use that instead of raw maca is that it's just easier to digest. You get the benefits of it um, more quickly, I guess you could say, and it's just easier on your system. So gelatinized maca. We're also using cinnamon, because cinnamon is awesome. We're using chaga mushrooms. Chaga mushrooms I've talked a lot, a lot about before. They're great for immunity. They're really high in antioxidants. They are great for energy balancing. Um, cinnamon is also really good for blood sugar balancing, so that's kind of balancing out your energy levels as well. We're adding in MCT oil, which is great for your brain, so it's really helpful with cognition and it kind of gets you focused. And then we have some almond milk, just to like make it nice and frothy and creamy, and hot water. And I sweeten mine, of course, with monk fruit extract, but you could use agave, maple syrup, honey, whatever you wanted, or you could just go without any sweetener at all. And it's so good, it's so frothy, I love it. I think you guys are absolutely gonna love it too. I will link the full recipe for you, and I'll also put all the individual ingredients for you below, because they are a little bit like strange. Um, but it's one of those things where in the blog post I talked about other ways that you can use all of these powders. So I know that sometimes buying powders is a little off-putting because you're not sure how you're going to get through the whole bag, but um, I did kind of talk through that in the blog post so you can get some ideas if you're interested. So let's go ahead and make it. So the latte is one full teaspoon of maca powder. It's about a half a teaspoon each of chaga and cinnamon. Add in some monk fruit extract to sweeten, or your sweetener of choice, some almond milk, as well as some hot water, and then also MCT oil, which I was almost forgetting. So I usually add in the MCT oil before the almond milk. And then you blend it all up, and it's so creamy. I want you to see this froth. It is amazing. Look how much froth. It's almost like you're getting a beautiful cappuccino or latte at a place like Starbucks, but you're making it at home, and it's awesome. And then I always just top mine with a little bit of extra cinnamon, and then today I did some vanilla powder. And then on the side, I also had a little protein bar. I was pretty hungry. I ended up having this around like three, so had a little protein bar, and I love these protein bars because they're high in protein, high in fiber, and low in sugar. So that was my little snack. Okay, dinner time. My dog is whining because she wants food, um, but we are making fajitas for dinner. So I've got some peppers, and then my like 
quote unquote meat is going to be portobello mushrooms, also some onions, and I'm gonna put them in some lettuce wraps. And then I think we are gonna do some of the vegan queso that is from Tuesday's video and some probably avocado, salsa, all that good stuff. So lots of spices, super quick, super easy, and let's do it. So fajitas are super simple to make. Basically, you just slice up all of your vegetables. So I had two bell peppers, one full onion, and two portobello mushroom caps. And you basically just slice them into strips. And I was gonna use half of the vegetables for mine. And then Matt would have the rest of the vegetables with his, he was making chicken fajitas. So basically just saute them in oil or water. I just kind of use a little bit of water to help them cook more quickly. I like to add water just because it helps to speed up the cooking process a little bit. And then I also added in some chili powder. And then the sauce that we were using is this fajita simmer sauce. It's from Simply Organic. It's really high quality. It tastes really good. Amazing ingredients. It says it's for beef or chicken, but it's totally vegan. So it's awesome with vegetarian fajitas as well. So we just kind of split this package. I had half of it in mine. He had the rest in his. And you basically just have to simmer it for like five minutes until your vegetables are cooked and your fajita fajitas are super flavorful and honestly so fast. This dinner probably took us maybe 15 minutes to make. And then to serve, I just kind of put them into lettuce wraps. This is romaine lettuce leaves. I just kind of place them along the rib of the lettuce leaf and then repeat with my other lettuce leaves. And then I decided to top them with some hot salsa as well as that vegan queso. And then here is the finished product. Definitely not the prettiest, but they were super, super yummy. So not the prettiest of dinners and probably not gonna be very pretty to eat. So I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for subscribing and being part of this community. If you aren't already subscribed, there's a red button right below this video that you can hit and that will subscribe you. If you enjoy this type of video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any questions or anything like that in the comments below. And otherwise, I hope you have an awesome rest of your weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.